What's up YouTube? So uh, I looked at the, I took the uh, bicycle out for a uh, test ride. I wanted to see about doing a first vlog with it just to see how it is. Um, and I've said that I was going to test the video and whatnot, see how it is. I mean, uh, test the footage with the wind and all that and see how it is. Pretty much I figured out that there is a lot of wind resistance and you, you can hear me, but uh, there, I got to eliminate that. So uh, I'm going to figure, I got a, um, I got one of those uh, GoPro kits so that this way I can put a microphone and whatnot and uh, start using the, the wired microphone and figure out how to um, work that out and get my audio better. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that before um, before before I show you guys this vlog and whatnot, uh, you can hear me. Um, but the, the thing about it is. You can't hear it at well. I mean, you can, but you're gonna have a lot of uh, wind resistance, and I am already aware of that. So, uh, I just wanted to let you guys know before I uh, before I show the video. Uh, so, enjoy it. Thanks a lot, and uh, let me know, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you can see, I got a surprise for you guys. So looks like uh, the bike is actually just finished. I just wanted to uh, give you guys a quick heads up on that. Um, I just got it finished recently, or for the most part, uh, the motor's finished. Uh, I got more updates, really. Not totally finished, but it is what it is. So um, yeah. So uh, today I just wanted to uh, give an update and uh, see how the build is going. So pretty much as you can see, I got a couple packages that I got to take over uh, to UPS and USPS. So um, I figured today would be a good day to ride it and see how that goes. So uh, yeah, um, you know. And I uh, figured, you know what, I'll give you guys a quick overview of what I've done so far and, you know, while I'm running my errands and, yeah, we'll see how it, how it goes and then uh, maybe do some, uh, show you guys some test hits on the, uh, on the bike. So, um, yeah, let's get right to it. Alright guys, so now we're on the road. Um, first things first, my very first impression of this bike is, I want to say, it is extremely torquey. Right now I have it in the first setting and, uh, and the first thing I noticed is that there is a lag but uh, what is it but as soon as it kicks in it, it, it becomes very aggressive and this is just on the first setting. First setting is about 25 kilometers an hour. Keep in mind, you guys, I am um, I am going to take it slow because not only do I have a bunch of packages in the bag, uh, which, mind you, this uh, this cargo basket that I that I showed you guys how to do in the Hatsu video works out really well. Oh, shit, I accidentally blew a light. Whoops. All right, excuse me. All right. cargo basket holding up really well so uh, with that being said definitely go check them out and uh, let me know what you guys think but so far I've noticed it uh, definitely you cannot you cannot just take off in any setting if you do that it does have a real tendency to whiskey throttle because I just whiskey throttle off the line for a second and that's just not even 
even realizing. So, uh, definitely, it, it's one of the
setup goes is it goes through power assist one, power assist two, power assist three, power assist four, power, what is it, power assist four, power assist five, and that's pretty much it. There's five settings. Uh, the higher you go, the more power you get. And there's actually a settings, what is it, setting zero? Woo. And uh, that's pretty much, um, there's no power assist at all. But I don't have a chain, so technically I can only use one through five in order to even get the bike to move. And that's just, even that's a whole lot. But uh, yeah, so pretty much, I'm gonna see what this thing to do. I'm gonna find an open room, or what is it, an open area where there's enough room. Uh, I did notice that in order to slow down, I need about like a block, maybe two blocks of stop time. Because this this thing is only a um, what is it? It's only got. What are you doing? I should have been here. Well, yeah, this thing only has um, what is it? I think two small pads. I think about an inch wide or half an inch. So it's uh, it's got no, 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 no. a slim to none as far as um, as far. As Breaking power. I've noticed that immediately, even with the disc brakes on it. Um, I think I may have to get stronger pads or just bigger calipers to figure out how to do something more easy to get a motorcycle caliper and I put it on here um, along with a rotor and then see how that goes. But even then, uh, the stopping distance on this thing is just absolutely terrible, which makes this thing so terrifying. With the amount of torque it has and uh, what is it? I used to be anti and And the amount of torque this thing has and uh, you know the, the little amount of stopping power this thing has is just absolutely um, makes it absolutely terrifying as far as riding goes. But as far as controllability, it's, re it's really not bad. Um, if you know what you're doing, yes, you can control it. You definitely take it on some practice rides in like a parking lot and then uh, see how that goes from there. But yeah, let me, get, let me finish up this ride to Costco. Uh, I'll get you guys later when I get there. Hey right, guys, so uh, sorry about that. My, uh, is it? I just got to Costco here and my, my GoPro died. So I'm gonna, I bought everything I need, just some printer paper and then uh, I'm gonna load it up, see how this thing does, and then uh, go from there. So you go like this. Might, yeah, I might go like this. Oh, let's see. This might do. I gotta fit six of them. So let's let's play some trial and error. Five. Okay. This is tricky, but... Like this? Yep. 
but doable to say the least I'm gonna take the box with me because I need the box too so uh, yeah let's see how it goes I just want to say this bike for its first time out handled the load really well um, minus the last two falling off so I want to say 24 pounds uh, 48 or 25 really so 2550 I want to say the weight limit of that thing is around 100 pounds um, it could probably have held 150 you could have it looked like it was gonna hold all the weight but the problem was it, it was just too tall uh, but if you were to put like 150 pound dumbbells on it, uh, that basket would have been fine for sure. Definitely the stand itself held up. I was really amazed with how the stand was and how well the, the bike took all the bumps in the rear. Um, and definitely felt it. I wish I had better shocks on it, but uh, definitely you can tell that it was feeling it for sure. Um, definitely, definitely I will say uh, if you're trying to do an e-bike route and you're trying to do what uh, I just did. It is. It is definitely worth it if you uh, if you know what you're doing. You take your time on it. Uh, but if you're just winging it, uh, make sure all, at least all the bolts and everything are tied up. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, other than that, it was a really solid bike. That's for sure. Um, it worked out well. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.